Hello and welcome to Mark Fiddle Woodwork Machinery. Uh, just going to walk past some briquettes on the way to see the brand new. We'll do some videos on these, by the way. Made in Germany, to stuck guy. Right, this is. Sorry, the compressor's just going at the moment. It should stop in a minute. But this is the brand new Kundig Master 1350 wide twin belt sander with veneer spec. So we've got the uh, sectional pad. So this is a new machine by Kundig. It came out this year in 2020. So the idea of this machine, it's uh, it's uh, it. Whereas it's a bit different from the normal. Uh, way of manufacturing machines for Kunda because normally everything is custom uh, one-off bespokes all, all make differently uh, which is still available on the premium uh, range of course and the brilliant range what the Kunda Master is it's actually um, it, there aren't any options so to speak everything is standard and comes um, as we can see it here so there are basically there's a, the spec we've got here is a, a veneer spec uh, price of this I'll double check I think it's around about 42,000 need to double check that but of course, it's it's, uh, it's made in uh, the Kundig factory in Germany. It's got the um, automatic up and down uh, of the actual head, fixed working height, so which is very, uh, you know, very uh, normal for Kundig. Uh, twin belt. Let's have a little walk around the machine first, and then she'll look inside. So of course, very heavy construction, as you'd expect from a Kundig. And you may have noticed I said Kundig factory in Germany. That's because they have a factory in Germany and also in Switzerland. Um, so this is made in their German factory. So, let's uh, have a little look. We'll go through here and show you about some of the controls, but first of all, we'll go inside the machine. So I'm gonna to have to just press the E-stop and open the door. And here we are, the twin belts. So we can see here, we've got the, um, on this machine, I think we've got the 80 grit belts. We've got the Kundig belts on here as well, which are always recommended, a far superior join than any of the belt manufacturers. Um, we have the simple, uh, gauge here to show you what um, grit we're running because this affects the thickness of the grit so obviously you got the, the bigger the grit or heavier the grit the thicker the paper so that make, this is how accurate this machine is so we do an accurate we um, basic cont we are uh, calibrated right here we'll just tell it what it is so it's a it's a super accurate machine you, you get a need from a sander uh, here's the uh, the calibrating head and then the finishing head the finishing head it's got electronic pad running all the way across the 1300s, which is like a, almost like a keyboard, if you like. So they will detect the different variations in the, uh, in, in the, um, the veneer when you're sanding them. So let's, uh, let's go and show onto the, um, onto the control. So super simple um, on the control system. Um, what we've got here is, I have to always remember on these machines that we're actually talking here, this is the actual, the height between obviously the bed and the moving part, which is the top section, the entire top section moves up and down off these four pillars, which is uh, the Kundig way. So uh, basically when I bring the, uh, bring the head up, you can see here with the readout, and then the head down, or you can literally just put in a dimension that's uh, a previous setting, for example. Very easy to use. So the controls on here, simple uh, start for the motors. Um, it's got a single motor on this machine. Uh, we've also got um, feed speeds, which we can alter. It's got inverter driven. Um, and then the, this is the joystick for controlling either height or also the feed speed as well. So you can see if we, we speed these up. So obviously on sanding, it's gonna make a difference to the finish according to stock removal. Um, it's going to make a difference to uh, the feed speed, stock removal material. So these things can actually be saved and programmed in here. So you can kind of get, we can play around with the settings. I know the screen looks a bit weird on the camera, but this has got the, the cover on. I don't like to take them off until the machines are at the customers. But uh, let me show you what we've got. So we've got some presets. Uh, before I go into that, let me show you the kit, the pad here. This is, um, this is something very interesting here. This is about the, um, the amount of... Um, distance for the, for these sectional pads this is what you've got inside the machine these are all individual sectional pads which move up and down according to the the, the sensors when it's measured inside the machine that's one thing we've got and we can actually set these to time in and time out so depending on if you find that it's perhaps doing too much on one end or not enough on the other this is obviously the back end of the board front end of the board uh, so you can actually alter that as well which is quite nice um, you can also on the width um, you can just basically the default was zero but if you need to add a bit extra on or take a bit off 
if you find it's doing too much. This just gives you a bit of control and pro programming feature of the sectional pad, which is pretty good. Um, what else have we got? We've got the presets in here as well. So presets are uh, basically programs. I'll show you what they look like. It's very, very simple. We basically, got, we've got a, we give it a number, so you can scroll through these as well uh, with a little scroller here. Very nice. Um, so you go here, this is test two. Uh, it's just a name we've given it. We've told it what grits we're on. Uh, we've said we've got um, 80 grit, 120 grit. Uh, we can also save information in here. We could even just tell it what feed speed we want to run out. So it's kind of a nice, quick uh, place to look, to basically control all your presets. So what you can do when you go to a preset, you literally just hit the button, machine starts up. We're ready to go. Okay. Uh, also, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, let's, um, let's just put a height in here and I'll come and show you what I mean. Let's get a piece of material. Don't have anything particularly veneer-like, uh, but what I've got a piece of oak here. Um, and what we've got in, underneath here, we've got a, a roller, uh, which is measuring. And what I'll show you, what I'll do, let's bring the head down. And basically right here, we've got material inside. And when it gets to the, the correct measurement, it stops. And then we can send it through the machine. I'm not gonna send it through a machine because you may have noticed our extraction isn't set up yet. Uh, but this is just a, you know, to give you an overall feel of it. So this is then just telling you the stock removal. This is gonna take 0.3 off. You can change this. You can take, take it to literally 0.2. Um, so really, this is such a simple machine to use and very versatile. And because of their way of manufacturing this machine, like pretty much like every other manufacturer, they've, managed, they've actually gone for a bit of a um, production room where they're going to do them in batches, which means they can get the production costs down. Uh, they're not always complete changing and ver making variations. So this one, I believe, um, I believe it's a, they're starting around about 42,000. Uh, for a 1350 Twinbert Kunding, it's fantastic. Uh, of course, they're not a cheap machine, but they don't make cheap machines, Kunding. They make quality machines. Um, so, yeah, there we are. That's the, uh, the little walk around uh we should do some videos of it in action because that's kind of the point of this i guess but um there we are hope you enjoyed watching any questions let us know and uh yeah if you'd like a demonstration then yeah contact us again okay thanks for watching